Hello, everyone. Welcome to Oil Rig Fight Club Weekly. I'm your host, Andrew Reiner. Actually, this is Test Chamber. I'm joined by Dan Reichert. Hey there, Reiner. We're taking a look at Dead or Alive 5, Tecmo's new fighting game. Yeah, just beat up a guy. And uh, you beat the living crap out of him. Yeah. Who are you yeah. playing as there? I'm Rig. He's a new guy. He works on an oil rig. Oh, very clever. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this game's pretty good. And dumb. he has a motorcycle on an oil rig? I don't know how that works. Or I don't know, I'm on top of a bar. I'm Maybe on they're a just thing. doing wheelies on there or something? I don't know. I don't... N it would make as much sense as the rest of this game's stupid story. So, Dan, you reviewed it. I didn't did. like the story, it sounds like. It's just super dumb. It's what exactly did you end up giving this game? Boy, I think I landed on a six okay. for this. So, um, it's a D? It's subpar? Yeah, it's just... I don't know. I, I mentioned in the review that it feels to me that since the last Dead or Alive came out, which was like 2007, like near the beginning of the Xbox 360, or might have been 2006 even, it was very soon after the Xbox 360's launch. And I feel like since that time, all the other big fighting series have kind of moved forward. Mortal Kombat had that awesome reboot. Uh, Street Fighter had Street Fighter 4, which is obviously huge. You know, Marvel vs. Capcom reinvented itself. Uh, this is just more Dead or Alive to me. Well, after you peak with Master Chief, you can only oh, go down. That was not Master Chief. That was, uh, what was it? I Spartan 42? Spartan 654 or something. Spartan I don't know. 420? <laughs> yeah, it's... Yeah. I'm not a big fan of this series. I, I played a lot of 4, just I think because of the novelty of it being online, and it was the first online fighter that I really got into. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to skip this. Jason's yelling at me to uh, fight something. It looked riveting. Yo, it, it really Bunch is. Of, it looks... You know when these, in fighting games now, that characters look so realistic when they're hanging out together, it just looks like Penny Arcade Expo, like cosplayers all like hanging out at like the Starbucks. Yeah. And also, I think this might be a fight. No, it's a later fight where I'm wearing like a kimono, absolutely nothing, and I'm in Antarctica. Oh, watch this. I'm sure this will be a, a good reason that we're fighting. Let's see. I'm looking for Alpha 152. Where is he? But I bet he. you already know. Whatever do you mean? Okay, now we're fighting. <laughs> sure, what the hell? I was just walking to work, and now I'm fighting this chick. All right. Wait, she did, said nothing about fighting. I know. It's she's that's, like turning around to have a cigarette. That's everything in this game. It's just, bleh. I mean, it's fun. It's if you're like kind of a casual fighting fan, it's, it is pretty fun to button mash and do some cool looking combos. I just, I don't know. I I don't like the series that much, and this does nothing to change it. Yeah, the animation's still great. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, some of the, the environmental Very stuff's kind of cool. 60 um, frames, right? Yeah, sure looks like it. But, yeah, it just does nothing to excite me, really. Boob physics! Yeah, we get boob physics! Oh, I hate that. That's so lame. I don't hate boobs, Jason. Jason just asked me why I hate boobs. I'm, a, 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 I'm in the pro-boob camp. I'm saying I don't need weird polygonal boobs to, to titillate me. It just does not do it for me at nice, all. Nice, nice, very it's, nice. I, boobs Tim, titillate. Tim is a big fan of digital big boobs, but uh, I will argue it uh, to my last day. All right, why don't we just kind of focus on the fighting here? Yeah, yeah, I'll hit Y and B, and then, yeah. <laughs> so what, what's your take on Tekken? I like Tekken a lot. In fact, I reviewed Tekken Tag Tournament right before uh, I reviewed this, which... They have also contributed to me being disappointed by this because Tekken Tag Tournament was awesome. I liked it a lot. Uh, this is just Dead or Alive. But if you like Dead or Alive, what are they adding to the fighting? What are they adding to the combat? Uh, they've got these new things like these things called cliffhangers where you can knock someone into a specific uh, part of the environment and it'll make the whole battlefield shift and you'll fall off. And it's not quite like, like you a, just did there? Yeah, yeah. It's not quite like a Power Stone type thing, but it's uh, some cinematic stuff in the middle of a fight. You get these new power moves where you can kind of charge it up and aim where you want to hit the person. So if you want to hit them to a particular part of the environment. Oh, here we are. Here's Antarctica. I bet I'm wearing weather-appropriate clothing, considering what series this is. That's probably my girl, right? She's got a stocking cap and a jacket. That's Luke Skywalker. That's, oh, no, that's the guy. Oh, there, oh, that's the girl. That's what the girl's wearing. <laughs> and Antarctica. She had to get there quickly. The, she didn't have time to go home and pack. The coldest area on the planet Earth, and that's what I'm wearing. What would that be? Oh, it's so stupid. Listen. We'll start a petition, just like those Mass Effect guys, and we'll have we'll have some extra story put in here, and it'll all make sense. Wait, why are we fighting? Oh, now we're just in Antarctica fighting. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't expect fighting game stories to make sense, but that's just pretty stupid. Well, let me ask this. Do any of the women wear jackets or anything like that, or is it just the dudes? 
Uh, I think Tina wears a red, white, and blue bikini and a cowboy hat. Is that what you're asking about? No, the that's exact she opposite, actually. She's also a pro wrestler that wants to run for governor. Because he got inappropriate gear, right? Yes. The fellas wear weather appropriate clothes in Dead or Alive. The ladies, uh, yeah, I don't know what alternate reality they live in, but they don't have jackets for ladies. So what kind of modes are offered here? You're in story mode, story which mode. you said is more like a tutorial. I mean, it's not what so much. What is that? It's this weird timeline thing. It It's not really a tutorial. I mean, you don't have to do these training things, but it does try to teach you things each step of the way. What was that timeline? What What the hell was that? It's this crazy back and forth Quentin Tarantino thing, but nobody cares about it. So that's the difference. Well, what were the numbers? What did that represent? Yeah, the, the one is the first one and later is the later ones. So you play through the game with every character and you fill in all those gaps then? You play as... Uh, this is how you unlock characters. I don't know if you cover every single character, but... Uh, Where are you going? I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> Jeez. No, no one gives a <laughs> Oh, boobs. Look at that. Oh, God. Okay, skipping, skipping. You really do not like this game. Well, that is when you review a game, you can't like skip cutscenes and stuff because I actually have to, you know, look at it and, and review it. That's the job. So, like, I had to sit here and well, watch so many of Well, I brought so you down here as things. part of your job to discuss <laughs> what is happening. My review is done. And now I can like, just make fun of it. Boobs, timeline stuff. Watch, watch how they fight. Watch why these two fight. This is it's a really good reason. Oh, there's a monkey saluting. Okay, sure. I'm okay with the monkey saluting. I just want to go on record. Okay. All right. She's wearing so appropriate gear. She's training in the jungle. Okay. Appropriate gear, Dan. Wait. Uh, you don't exactly look like you're dressed for training. Yes, she is. She's and now we're fighting because she's not wearing the right clothes for training. I'm ready. Blah. Go away. So what, did, what was that there? That's telling me how to do guards and standing guards and stuff. And you have stuff. to do that to finish this? No, you don't. Oh, you it's don't. Just, okay. It's a bonus thing. You get, like, little titles and stuff for it. But you asked about other modes and stuff, and it's got just the basic time attack, survival, training, stuff like that. I'm trying to do all those guards. What about Other online? Timing. Online was kind of laggy when I played it. I'm getting my ass kicked. Damn, I was trying to do the weird blocky thing. Um, yeah, online was kind of laggy, which really hurts because the countering system in this is just so strictly based on timing. Right. And, uh, yeah. So that's difficult. Oh, dead or alive! Damn. Dead or alive! But you, you're, 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 you're doing that yourself! <laughs> oh god, oh god! God. I'll fight Reiner. All right. Jason told me to. Jason's uh, pitting us. I don't know if I want to fight him now. I don't want to give you back. a victory. I'll, I'll be the... After uh, your attitude here. Be, <laughs> I'm allowed to dislike a game. Professional well, yeah, critic. Yeah, but at least tell me why. I am. Kind of. Boobs. <laughs> no, there's obviously more to it than that. Do you want to tag or do solo? Uh, let's do solo. All right. Can you do four player online? Uh, 2v2. Yeah, and they have like a lobby system. So we've got that. All right, I'm gonna go with professional wrestler Tina. Um, Zach is Dennis Rodman, right? Yes, yes. He's a Any who, who's this? That oh, is a Luke. Who are some of the new ones? Lady. Um, let's see. We got. Why aren't you Rig. this guy? Rig is new. Oh, the uh, let's go. The MMA girl. Go up, up and left. I kind of like her, Mila. She's this new MMA girl. Real quick punches. Kind of looks like she's based on Gina Carano. I don't know if anyone knows who she is, but. Uh, Gina Carano is a hot MMA lady that used to be on American Gladiators. So it looks kind of like that. How many outfits can you unlock? I don't know if it's a set amount for each character, but you will unlock them as you go through the story mode. Just rocking the band-aid. Where do you want to go? Your pick. Wherever you want. Is this random? Yeah. All right. Big fighting game guy? Uh, Yeah, like Street Fighter, Tekken, Virtua cool. Fighter. New Tekken is really good. And I'm really right. I know. I'm gonna have to check that out. Tekken I love the last one. Yeah. The, well, the with, last even with tag that, tourney, the tag tournament. Yeah. With yeah, the, yeah. The crappy uh, adventure mode. Oh yeah, yeah. I had a blast. See, with that's that. that's the thing. Is this new one doesn't do stupid modes. Like it's just straight up. Great All right. So block is back. Thanks, Dan, for um, giving me a new back or X. And if you do like back, oh no, you're charging power move. Well, let me do one of those <laughs> so we could show our viewer. You oh. do one. If you're not uh, gonna let me see if I know what Tina is. Let me see. No, it's not that. Hang on. There we go. Well, wait till I'm up. Okay. I think I have to be in the red. Yeah, I have to be in the red for it to be like a crazy... So beat me up a little bit. So that was just a charge. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I need to be in the red here. What was that? 
Ooh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Not on test chamber. <laughs> Okay, okay. Hey, lay off. All right, you ready? All right. So I can, oh, that's like, cool. Kind of aim it like if there were environmental things, I could point it in certain directions. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, you knocked off my cowboy hat. No, yo. All right, one one. This is for yeah. all the marbles. What? Yes. That's standard body slam. Do something better than that. No. Oh, Tina's father is also a pro wrestler named Bass. No! Oh! Not getting that. Get the hell I want to see what happens if she does it. Get out. Come on, do it. Trying to counter you. Ah! No! Ooh, I got a bounce. Ah! There you go. Ah! There you go. Yep, that's classy. All right. Quit yep. doing that with the I camera. Didn't, I swear to God, I was not touching that at all. You can't control it until later. And then you can... Okay, look at your pubes. You with your pubes. I, that's my impression. Oh, look at this sweat. Oh, you sweat all over your pubes. Yeah. That's every... That yeah. is the real Dan Riker right there, isn't <laughs> it? <laughs> Just hate that. All right, I don't... I don't think we could go anywhere from this, Dan. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, I just want to go back and take a look at the menu, and then let's call it a day. Okay. I don't even know what to say to you anymore. All right, what kind of extras do we have? We have... Spectators, you can take pictures of the boobs, and you're gonna be in the boob album. That's that, and then stats and how you get your things. But Missy, you need beat. All right. Well, they're gonna have an online pass, so they're gonna have some serious DLC, I would imagine. That's if it was a season pass. This is just an online pass, so you can play online. Oh, that's it. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm sure they will plan some DLC. I just, you know, I don't know if they've announced anything just yet. All right, Dan. Well, thanks for this uh, titillating so look at Dead or Alive Five. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.